and today we will uh, learn a very important algorithm that is Dijkstra's algorithm. So in this today's session we will uh, learn how to find the shortest path between two points using this Dijkstra's algorithm. Okay, so let us discuss example. So see, uh, we are just uh, di uh, directly doing the example and in, uh, in this example only uh, we will discuss uh, the steps. Okay, so the question is use Dijkstra's algorithm to find the shortest path between these two points that is A and F. So this is the graph, okay? So that means we need to find the shortest path between this A and F. So this A is, it is the source uh, vertex, okay? And this is F, that means the destination vertex, okay? So our source node or destination, fine. So uh, this is the same uh, graph, fine. So what we'll do, we'll just create only one table and we'll proceed further. So first step. This V, that means the vertex we have visited. Fine. And just uh, in column, we will uh, write each and every vertex name. So that means A, B, C, D, E, F. So there are total six vertex. So just uh, write this A, this B, C, D, E, F. You can just uh, write this uh, vertices in any order. Fine. So first, uh, C, we want to find the shortest path between this A to F. So we will start from A. Okay. So in a row, the first vertex will be A. Now what is the minimum distance between A to A? So obviously it will be zero. So we'll put here dash, fine. Now, what is the minimum distance from A to B? Or the distance between A to B? So that is one. Okay, so we'll write here like this. That is one and via A. So we have reached from A to B. Uh, we have reached from A to B. So that means we have reached B via a okay and it is the minimum distance okay and this subscript means via a so one a now the next uh, a to c so that is this three so that means three a fine so it is the minimum distance via a so we'll write this three a now this a to d now a to d now, as you can see that there is no direct edge okay there is no direct edge from A to D. What we'll write, we'll write infinite, okay? So if there is no direct edge, we'll write infinite in each and every cases, okay? So A to D, there is no direct edge, so infinite. Now, in same manner, A to E, we don't have direct edge, so we'll write infinite. And in same manner, A to F, there is no direct edge, so we'll write infinite. So the first step is done. Now what we'll see, now see, as you can see that, uh, just consider this row. Now in this row, what is the minimum distance? So what is the minimum distance? So that is 1A. And corresponding to that, what is the vertex B? So, since, uh, so in next row, this B vertex will be there. Okay. So now, uh, again, this, uh, this is done. The distance from uh, A to A is done. Now B to B, that is also done. So that is dash. Now B to C. So what does that mean? We are trying to see we are trying uh, trying to find this minimum path from a to f okay so a, a is done now we are jump to b so that means we are uh, we'll look for the minimum sh or shortest path from b to each and every vertex okay so now b to c now b to c so uh, it is one now c the source node is one uh, the source node is a so and we are uh, traveling from b to c so what will be the total shortest distance? So it will be this one plus one. Okay, so that will be two. And this, uh, and we are reaching this C. We are reaching this C vertex via which vertex? That is B, okay? So this two B, so that means this one uh, plus this box. Okay, so that is two B, fine. Then next, B to D. So this B to D, we have two, but uh, the source node, uh, the source vertex is one. So that means one plus two, so that is three, and we are traveling it via B, so it will be three. Now B to E, now B to E, we have four, but plus one, so that means this five via B, and B to F, so as there is no direct uh, edge, so we'll write in five. Okay, after this, it is clear. Now, among all these four entries, what is the minimum? So you can see that this is the minimum, and corresponding to that, what is the vertex? So the vertex is C, so here it will be C, fine. So this three will be uh, dash, why? 
because we have already visited uh, A, we have already visited B. And we are starting from C. So it will be dash. Now from C to all these other parts. Now C to D. Now uh, C to D. So as there is no direct edge, we will write infinite. But it is the shortest part. We have already this uh, 3B. Okay, that is the shortest part. So it will be like this 3B. Okay, the minimum of infinite 3B is 3B. So I'll just write 3B. Now C to E. Now C to E. So it will be this 5 plus 2. Okay, so it will be 7. Fine. But we have already this 5. Uh, we have already this 5 minimum. So we'll write as 5B. Why? Because see, we are reaching E via C. So it will be 5. How? Uh, this, just consider this part. So that means this 1 plus 4. So A, B and E. So 1 plus 4, that is 5. And here it was 7. So that is why we have written 5B. Now last, C to F. C to F, as there is no direct edge, we will write infinite. Okay. So now, in this row, what is the minimum weight? So that is 3B. So it's just uh, mark it. Now corresponding to the vertex T. So that means, next point is T. So the traveling of A, B and C is done. So next, so this all these entries will be dash. Okay. And D to D it is obvious. Now D to E. Now D to E. That is 7. And 7 plus this minimum. That is 3. So 10. But we have already in minimum 5. Uh, uh, starting from A. How? Uh, we are reaching. We are trying to reach E. So that means this A, B, E. So that is also 5. So minimum is 5. So no need to go via D. Okay. Just go via B. Fine. So it will be same as this 5B. And last D and F. This D and F. This, uh, minimum uh, is 6. Okay. And 6 plus 3. Okay. So that will be this 9. And we are just uh, traveling this via D. So here the subscript will be changed. So that means 9 and D. Okay. Now among all these uh, this 2. Okay. What is the minimum? So that is 5. So, and corresponding to the vertex it is E. So now we will start from E. Fine. Now E. So if you already visited this A, B, C, and D, so it will be dash like this. And E to E, obviously dash. Now E to F. Now E to F, we have 2 and plus all this uh, previous uh, uh, previous weights. So that will be 5. So it will be 7. Now 7 and 9. So what is minimum? So obviously it is 7. So we'll write the 7 and we are traveling via E. So that means this 2. So what is that path? Okay, that we will discuss later. Now, as it is the last one. So, it is 7E. So, this is how you can create this table. Fine. Now, how to find a path? Okay. Now, see. Just consider this 7E. So, what does that mean? The, uh, to reach from E to F, the minimum weight, that is 7. Okay. So, 7E. Now, corresponding to the vertex. Now, see. Uh, this will be the uh, shortest path. How? See. This is 7E. So what does that mean? The minimum weight of this path from A to F, it will be 7. Of how? Now 7, we are traveling 7 via E. Now corresponding to this, what is the vertex F? And so that means we are uh, traveling F via E. So F E will be there. Okay. Now consider the E column. So in E column, we are traveling via B. So that means E and B that will be connected. So that is 4. Now consider the column of B. So column of B. And we are traveling B via which vertex? That is A. So it will be A. So A, B, E and F. So 1 plus 4 and plus 2. That is 7. So minimum is 7. Again I am explaining. See, uh, this uh, last square. So 7 will be the final minimum distance between this A to F. Now see, this 7 it is what? That is A to F. So that means this F will be there. Okay. Now we are traveling F via which vertex that is this a so e will be there so ef just draw this ef and the weight 2 now just e via e now just consider the column of e so the column of b so so that means we are traveling e via which vertex b okay so that means b and e has to be connected now consider jump to the column of b so and we are reaching b via which vertex k so that means a to b so we have covered uh, a to F, we have find the one path which is shortest. So A, B, E, F. So this will be the path uh, with the minimum distance that is 7. Okay. So this is how you can find the shortest path 
using this dice thrust algorithm. Okay, thank you.